All right, so I have this uh, painting that I've saved. It's pretty much done except for the shirt and it's monochromatic. The last uh, steps that I did at the in the last demo was that I made a flattened layer on top of everything. And then I desaturated it. And then I set it on overlay mode which immediately kind of darkens and lightens where the values are. And then I took it down in opacity until I thought it helped. So that's a little too bright overall. So I settled at about 46. And then I locked that layer and I started a brand new layer that's called the final pass. And this is basically just painting on top of everything refining things together. So that's what's on my final pass layer so far. And it's kind of fun just to look at disembodied from the rest. Once you put the, the flat values underneath it, you see how, how differently the same brush can be used when you put a little bit of texture into it with the brush options and you use it a little bit smaller and more refined. So that's a big jump from that, that base layer values to that final pass. But then in between that, of course, we had a duotone layer, and that helps bring it all together. So the duotone layer without the final pass just doesn't have all that refinement. Okay, and then we have our little overlay value layer, which can be helpful. Okay, now, looking at it and seeing some of the darks really darken, especially around his mouth, I'm just going to take this option to steal colors from myself. I'm going to work at a fairly high opacity, but not 100%. And I'm gonna soften his mouth a little bit. Feels a little overly stern. And again, I'm not gonna zoom out unless I have to, or zoom in rather, I'm gonna try to keep everything visible. So it's really, it's playing with subtlety at this point. Now if I want little details, like little flyaway hairs and stuff, I have space to do that. And it's all on a, a layer on the top, so I'm not altering any of the kind of base form painting and underpainting I did below. One thing I left out all the little hairs, you know, coming from under his lip, because you need to get those form shadows down first. And then I can start softly painting some of these in. So this is detail work, and you can spend a long, long time doing this. Whether you're working monochromatically as I am, or whether you're working in really bold colors, and trying to have kind of expressive brush strokes, but still be very descriptive and naturalistic in my forms and textures. So you can see all the options digital painting gives to you. I have a slight texture to my brush, but I no longer have it built up or set on build up or wet edges. So I don't think I'm shifting between multiple colors anymore. No, I'm just doing the, the foreground color. So I don't have my color dynamics turned on. So I just want to soften his expression a little bit. This is to point out that little choices really do matter. comes to interpreting human faces and emotions, subtlety is paramount. Little twinkles in the eye, that kind of thing.
don't want to overdo it. I'm not going to throw a bright highlight right in his eye just because we're used to that in anime. But I might play with it a little bit and do something very subtle. Just to give a little bit more dimension there. And just like with regular drawing and painting, it helps to take your time with this. I know our introduction to it is fairly rushed. But it's good to take multiple days and kind of return to it and do it in little spurts. Because you'll see different things you want to work on each time. And even though it's the final pass layer, it doesn't all need to be tiny brushwork. If you see something that just needs to be kind of worked with a little bit, you can go to a larger brush. I want to soften this shadow's edge a little, bring it down, give it some more variety. So I'm working at a lower opacity and kind of glazing over. like you would in a painting. Now I have two little bits of color. I have this little kind of peachy red, which I threw in, and then I still have the blue from my sketch layer. And if I turn on my sketch layer, I don't even think it's going to show much. Yeah, it just shows on the outside a little bit. I've done a good job kind of covering everything else up. But it, that blue did show through here. It shows me I still have some painting to do of the on the upper lip, switch to a higher opacity again, have a smaller brush. Still pressure sensitive toward, for size. That's the most useful in my opinion. And because I have that middle gray background, that's so much more helpful than just having white shine through. Right? But that's another way you can see areas that might need work. But the middle gray really helps you see your tones a little bit better. Because you have to choose your highlights. Okay. The little areas of the hair I might want to soften. Now without going too much further, I'm working with that little red color. And otherwise, I stole all my colors from this. But there is no such thing, really, as pure black and white in the art world. But there can be pure black and white on the computer. But even when you print something that's pure black and white, the inks will be either kind of bluish black or, or brownish black, you know, warm or cool. But I like to make those decisions from the beginning as I paint. So I chose a warm photogravier, something that had a lot of kind of warm tones to it already to, to base my, my limited saturation painting on. And by doing that, I've already built in a lot of subtle color variations that now I can bring out. But not before I save it, because this is my, my monochrome version. And I think it's working pretty well. Just like sometimes we like to look at black and white photos. When it comes to portraits, especially of people that you know and want to remember, sometimes it's nice not for them to depend so much on color. Now because this is the final pass layer, and I'm pretty confident of what's underneath it, I've just made him look older now with my final pass. Um, you can also feel free to erase away from it slightly. Let's see what that does. And towards the end of this process now, a lot of the, um, the trouble is that you have so many options. 
so it can be hard to differentiate between them and know when to stop. So I'm just going to work with that neck line. It looks a little bit too much like a line still. I want it to be more of a gradation. Try to be a little bit more aggressive with my brush. Maybe a little bit bigger. texture of the brush help. Some of that color in there. Knock back the value on this part of the neck. So as you can see, you know, everything in the, um, everything in the face, and now I'm trying to get to the neck and the hair feels like it has a similar level of finish. That means that it's all considered kind of equally. And that's what you're going for, so that nothing draws your attention. The shirt definitely doesn't have that same level of finish yet. And so if I was making this a published work, I would play with that. But right now, I'm going to save that for the color, the color um, phase. feel like you're smoothing it out too much, you can always go to a soft eraser. edges of the shirt. Now you're not required to have a background, but it's nice to be able to just have a simple background to play against. And so then you can work on both sides of your edges of always just erasing away. Okay, so I've softened the expression now just a bit. So all of that, most of this demo, was going from this to this, just little changes to kind of finish it off. And you can, like I said, you can do that endlessly, but that's not always the best decision. At some point you have to move on, and when it gets starts to feel really fussy, then I think you want to try something new, kind of mess it up. Now if I was doing an oil painting or something, this would be the time when I would take sandpaper to it, and I would intentionally kind of um, simplify it, screw it up, so then I have to react to the surface and be creative again, instead of just be kind of a machine. And so I'm gonna show you my, my version of 